When it comes to the process of preparing for Pesach, there are two basic approaches to how to get rid of the chametz in your life. The first approach is to lock up your home and go somewhere else. And the second is to roll up your sleeves, get down on your hands and knees, and clean your home and turn it over until all the chametz is gone. I, myself, prefer the latter, prefer to be home for Pesach, prefer that sense of accomplishment when the fridge is clean and the chametz is out of the way and we're able to turn over and know that it's our hard work that made Pesach possible. And even though I fall into that second category, I will admit that when it comes to the option of having a self-clean oven, I love the idea of being able to just push a button, step away, and let the oven do the work for itself. Chazal teach us that there is a deep relationship between matzah and mitzvah. Matzos and mitzvos are spelled in the exact same way in, bi in biblical Hebrew. We learn from matzah how to approach our mitzvah observance in general with an attention to detail. And I think the search for chametz, the eradication of chametz from our private spaces, is also a very powerful paradigm for the way in which we approach, approach our mitzvah observance in general. There are aspects of mitzvah observance, there's personal growth that can happen by just moving on to something else. But there is a certain dimension of who we are that requires hard work, that demands that we roll up our sleeves and figure it out for ourselves. There is no self-clean mode, if you will, for personal development. When we think about the lessons of Pesach, the toil that it requires, the hard work and the attention to detail, it is the perfect paradigm for our own personal journey. We don't want to just outsource it to someone else. We don't want to just lock it up and leave our problems uh, behind. We have to tackle them head on. We have to be willing to sweat. We have to be willing to push. We have to be willing to exert ourselves to really reap those rewards. Whether or not you're home for Pesach, maybe you're traveling and you're somewhere else, either way, the spiritual work that Pesach demands is exactly the same. Let's not assume that Pesach will be a Zman of Cheros just because we ate a little bit of matzah. Let's not assume that we will have enhanced quality of conversation with our families just because we had a Seder. We have to prepare, we have to engage, we have to think deeply, we have to work hard in order to grow spiritually. Pesach is a grueling list of real practical halachos, but it is also a very interesting metaphor for the kind of growth that the Torah wants from each of us. If we're going to be our best selves, if we're going to experience that cheras, we're going to need the attention to detail, the exertion, the hard work, and the pride that comes with knowing that our growth is a result of the effort that we put in. Wherever you are for Pesach this year, I hope that your family is committed to both dimensions of what Pesach is all about. I hope your families are committed to a kosher Pesach, but also an inspiring one. We know that Pesach is a season that offers so much reward, and this is the year where we need it. We need that quality time, many of us with family members who we haven't seen in a long time, and we need that quality time with ourselves. Let's make sure, as we discussed on Shabbos Haggadol, that our Hallel is inspiring, that our tefillah is raised to a new level because of how lucky we are to be able to daven together. Let's make sure that we've learned throughout the past year the value of being able to share our table on Shabbos and Yantif with the people that we love. Let's make sure that the lessons of Pesach don't just last for eight days, but they stay with us for the rest of the year and beyond. Whether you're with us here in Riverdale, whether you're traveling to visit family or with family in a new environment, I want to wish each and every one of you a Chag Kasher V'Sameach. I hope it is a inspired and meaningful and uplifting Pesach. And we look forward to seeing you back at the RJC very, very soon.